Hey guys, so welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're finally back out at the airport, and we're finally out here working on the Cricket. I know the last video I said that I was going to be out here working on the plane uh, the following weekend, but things came up, um, motivation, everything, so, uh, but hey, we're out here today, and we're going to get some work done, so we can get the Cricket done by the end of this year, so stay tuned guys. And uh, I'll show you what we're going to do today. All right, guys. So like I said, we're back out here. And uh, I do have the cricket outside right now because, uh, one, the hangar is full of dust. Uh, really need to get it cleaned up. And uh, we're also wiping down the plane. Uh, try to get some of the dust off of it because it's been sitting for, well, since December. And uh, here we are in May. So it's been sitting out here in the hangar for quite some time, uh, collecting dust and uh, just, you know, sitting. So one thing I want to do is uh, we do sometimes have some mice issues out here and bird issues in the hangars. Uh, so I do want to go through the plane, make sure there aren't any nests uh, inside the plane, make sure mice haven't gotten into it or anything like that. Also, uh, want to do the same thing around the, uh, the entire hangar, uh, as well, just to make sure nothing is, uh, is nothing's living in here. We want to make sure. So, um, summertime is coming up, uh, right around the corner, guys. I do have a lot of, uh, work trips coming up still. And, uh, so do keep in mind that might slow me down just a little bit, but we are going to start making it a habit of being out here every Sunday to work on this plane and try to get this plane done. I love to be out here on both Saturdays and Sundays, but do have family. And then during the week, do have work. So, um, and uh, Dave would know, uh, it's a, quite a drive to get myself out here uh, every weekend to work on the plane. So just know that. Um, but I am going to start working on it. We are going to start getting her done. And... Uh, she won't be done for Oshkosh this year, unfortunately. Uh, there's just no way uh, being May and uh, July being the uh, the start of Oshkosh there. Uh, there's no way, uh, there's no feasible way of getting it done in time for the trip. So we're gonna drive out, um, hopefully. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, a lot of things going on around that time frame, but I do wanna go. My wife wants to go and uh, we're gonna drive. We'll be hanging out with the Zenith and the uh, Viking family uh, quite a bit. Because uh, as you guys know, we do have the Viking engine in here, uh, and it is a Zenith. So, <laughs> there you go. But, uh, yeah, so the plan is we're going to take the Cricket uh, up there next year. Uh, that'll be the plan. Next year, we will fly the Cricket out there, but I can't promise anything. Same with the uh, homecoming this year, guys. Uh, she may not be done in time. I don't know. We're going to push for it, but I'm not going to push too hard because I want to get things done correctly. Uh, so we're going to work on it and we're gonna get things done a little bit at a time. So let me show you what we got done so far this morning, uh, cause it is, we've got a late start today, but let me go ahead and uh, show you what we got done. Okay guys, so uh, like I said, we brought the airplane outside here. Uh, she's looking nice out here in the sun. Uh, unfortunately, cowl and uh, back panel is up cause that's where we're gonna be doing a lot of our work is uh, back in here. We're gonna redo a lot of this inside here. Um, so in this area here, we're gonna be doing, pulling all these wires out and away. So everything that's coming through the wing, we're gonna relabel, pull them off to the side, bundle them up nice and coil them. Uh, that's kind of the plan there. Batteries are gonna be coming out cause they're gonna be relocated to the back um, just because I wanna have that weight back there rather than in the front. Um, plus it'll make it a lot easier to get to the, the, to the batteries. Uh, the other thought I did have is maybe mounting them on this side of the firewall. That's still a possibility, um, but I'm not sure they're going to fit much uh, very well because I did look at that and there it is kind of tight up there for these two batteries. But maybe here, uh, maybe down here, um, I don't know, maybe one over here uh, back in this area. I'm not sure yet. Um, may also look at routing and maybe bat, mat, putting them down here somewhere. I don't know. But this panel right here, uh, we're going to go ahead and pull everything off of it and relay this out. This is not laid out very well, and that's my fault. But we want to make this look better. So we're going to take that all out and, and redo that. 
Uh, again, with these wires over here, we're gonna pull those off to the side, coil them up out over on the edge. But right now, first things first, we need to get her clean. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So on this side, and I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on the, uh, but it's, you know, it's a lot of dirt right here. I've already wiped down the tail, which looks very nice now. Uh, the top up here, because that's where all the dust settled, and also that wing is already done. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up on this side over here, get that all cleaned up. And uh, once we get that all cleaned up, then we can get her pushed back into the hangar over here. And uh, once it's back in the hangar, we'll be able to go ahead and uh, start working on uh, pulling wires and, and getting that all cleaned up. Um, I am a little worried about the engine sitting for so long, but uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I don't wanna put fuel back in the tanks right now. There's, uh, I mean, I can, but I don't really want to yet. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I could probably put the fuel back in the tanks and then get her running from from the full system, but I don't I don't really have any fuel right now. Um, and uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, so first things first, we're gonna finish uh, wiping down the other wing, getting that all nice and clean, uh, cleaning the uh, the sunroof, and uh, then we can go ahead and uh, begin work on pulling all these wires out and uh, try to bundle them up, clean them up and uh, straighten up where things are uh, on that panel there. Um, I also have been debating uh, notching this like everybody else has so that I can pull this off the uh, and not have it interfere with any of this because, you know, wind and everything. Plus it just make it a little bit easier to get in there. Um, less, uh, less chances of things getting messed up. So I may notch that and then uh, pull that panel off entirely and that way I have more room, uh, better light and uh, a lot easier to work on. So, uh, all right, so that's the plan guys. Let's uh, finish cleaning her up and then we'll uh, see what we can get worked on. All right guys. All right, so as you can see, we go ahead and we went ahead and we did remove the uh, the center panel here. So that'll help get things a little bit nicer here. We'll be able to get in here and really dig in and uh, pull all this out and redo that very nicely. So uh, what I did over here is we went ahead and we just opened this up here, uh, as you can see. So now that's nice and smooth now. So we may end up having to do some touch up paint on this. Uh, that's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll make a piece that goes across right here and that'll get riveted in place right back where it was uh, painted. And then once that's all in here. So uh, over the next uh, few weeks, we'll be starting to pull this wiring out. Uh, we're going to get prepped and ready to pull the batteries, get those relocated uh, back in the hell hole over there. So that way we can go ahead and uh, get that, uh, get the CG just a little bit better, a little bit more aft uh, than where it is right now. Uh, get some of that weight off the nose. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna start working on redoing all of this in here. And uh, really this panel here is gonna be more or less just for uh, all the, the wiring and connections. Um, I'm looking at possibly relocating my transponder and the comm radio, um, but I'm not sure yet. I may leave them there uh, and then just because once this battery, these batteries are out, I'll be able to relay out all of the connecting connections a little bit nicer. Uh, get some of these terminal blocks off the firewall. Maybe one or two might end up on here, but not too many. I want to try to keep most of them off of the firewall and uh, also get all of the wiring from underneath up. Uh, also want to make this uh, a hole here for the wiring to go through much bigger with a larger grommet. So all wiring that needs to go back down and behind the panel down here for the switch panel, 
uh, will all nicely go down there nicely without having to go around the sides and all this. I'm also thinking about pulling, getting rid of all of this. Uh, um, I think I have um, 16 gauge here um, and it's really stiff. Um, I might go back to all 18 gauge. Um, I remember talking to Alyssa about that and uh, 18 gauge is probably more than enough for what we're doing here, wattage or amperage wise. Uh, so we're gonna get that all fixed and laid out nicely. Uh, we'll get it all cleaned up. Uh, we'll get the ELT wired in. Uh, make sure the GPS antenna has no strain here because as you can see, this cable, I believe my GPS antenna is, uh, is coming out. And so I may need to redo another crimp on here. Take some of that strain off on that uh, wire as well. Um, get that nice and done. Uh, then we can get all the switches finalized and uh, I do have all new aircraft grade switches to go in the aircraft uh, up in the front up here. So we'll get that all done too. Uh, but at least we're back on it guys. So we got this all taken care of. So that's good. The aircraft has now been wiped down and cleaned up again. So uh, ready to start working. So uh, next week we'll start tackling, pulling these wires and we're going to start labeling everything again uh, because once I got these all up there, I think I, the labeling kind of fell off on some of them. So I want to relabel all of these wires that are coming off of the circuit breakers with heat shrink. Um, and that way, when they're pulled off to the side, we'll know what's what and we'll be able to get that taken care of. Yeah, some of these uh, 16 or 18 gauge, no, 16 gauge wires that are going down into this area to the switches, they're a bit too snug. Uh, so we're going to get that all fixed. So that's the plan, guys. Um, we're going to get moving on this. Okay, guys, so uh, welcome back. And uh, we're going to be ending the video here today. Uh, I want to show you what I accomplished. I at least got stuff done today, which I'm really happy about. It's great being back out here at the hangar and working on the plane, uh, getting the cricket ready uh, so that we can get her in the air. Uh, now, there are a few things that I am redoing uh, in the electrical system and also with the wiring because I need to get it cleaned up. I need to look, get it looking a lot better. So what I'm doing here is I relocated my, uh, my batteries uh, for the aircraft down under the passenger seat. Uh, and the reason for that is one, uh, I wanna try to get some of that weight out of the nose uh, right behind the panel there. Uh, and two, I think it's a, a much more serviceable location and I think it's gonna make more sense in the long run to have it in this area. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got and uh, stand by. Okay guys, so uh, we got a lot done. Uh, we went ahead and we opened up, uh, found a new location for my batteries because I wanna clear out this area up here, uh, basically for all my terminals and connections and uh, power, uh, everything that has to do with avionics is all going to be up there. Plus, I want to make it easier for myself uh, later on down the road when I need to swap out batteries. So, uh, I figured behind, under the, the passenger side seat is going to be a great option. Uh, I was thinking originally to put it back behind the panel uh, back here. Uh, however, there's a lot of stuff going on back there. And not to mention, I'm not a fan of getting up underneath that hell hole. Uh, so, we decided on the um, under the passenger seat. So since I did opt for the slide in seat option, uh, for the slide, I, I did opt for the slide in seats. Uh, so I went ahead and cut out the space between those two formers uh, where they mount because on this, the original seat in had a, a panel that went right here, kind of a rib uh, right through the center. But because I did the slide in seat, uh, it doesn't have that. It just has the uh, a panel here and a rib here, and that is where the uh, blind nuts or the uh, rib, um, the captive nuts uh, basically are right here, or nut plates. Um, and then uh, so went ahead and we com car uh, cut this hole out. Uh, gives me plenty of access now to. Uh, access the batteries. These are going to be permanently mounted. I might add some L angle uh, in here just to strengthen this floor up uh, to go from this area right here um, all the way across and into up to this area over here. Uh, that'll give me a little bit extra uh, rigidity. Uh, and actually, I may just use the rivet holes right here that are already in, in this bottom panel. Um, 
because they were just fillers, basically. These just filled a hole, uh, filled those holes. So if I drill those out, I can then put an L angle here. That'll stiffen this floor up right here even more. And then when I screw these in place, bolt them in place, and I will probably put L angle across this way too uh, on both ends, uh, that will allow me to have that nicely mounted in place there. Um, and it will be nice and rigid. Uh, we'll have the battery connections then go from the batteries um, up along the side here, and it will go back into uh, the um, my uh, um, solenoids uh, for starting or, or for uh, turning on power on the aircraft. Uh, so that will be the link for that. Now, I'm not sure if these are going to stay where they are. I might relocate those onto the firewall closer to the output uh, power right there. Um, that'll make things a little bit nicer and easier. We're also going to run the negative line up and across right here with uh, some Adele clamps over to uh, ground in planes. And I'm going to have a couple of them uh, over on that side. But this way, by doing this, I don't have to recreate a new... Uh, avionics tray here we can utilize what we have here and just make it work for what we want um, this right here is for the ecu on the engine i have that disconnected right now uh, there is no power but uh, just didn't want that uh, powered or, or uh, connected while i'm messing with all the electricals um, but yeah so i think this is going to work really great we'll uh, have the batteries mounted down here uh, so we'll work on getting this mount uh, situated and uh, then we might then go back and repaint inside this bay area with some of that truck liner uh, uh, paint that I've used back here just to uh, kind of uh, uniform that and uh, get that nice and clean. Uh, but other than that, that's where the batteries are now going to live. So I did move, the, move them slightly aft, but we didn't go crazy and go all the way to the back back here. But... Um, and nonetheless, it still gives me a little bit more aft CG of the with that weight back there. Um, and passenger side, because most of the flights that I'll be doing, um, minus my, uh, you know, will be just me over there. But uh, we'll have this seat available uh, for passengers. Uh, maybe my kids, my wife uh, will be over uh, over here. And uh, but uh, yeah, so happy with that. It's looking good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning this mess up now wiping everything down, and then uh, we'll start figuring out the fabrication of the panels that will hold the batteries down. Uh, I am using uh, the uh, hold down panels here that um, Viken uh, sells. They work really, really well. They hold the batteries nicely, um, and uh, they're just gonna have, um, they're just gonna be uh, using uh, some nuts to hold the battery panels down uh, in place here. Um, but that will make things a lot easier because uh, I can reach here uh, from underneath, I can reach to get to the, um, down here I can reach under and hold on to the, uh, you know, a, a, a ratchet in um, a wrench and on this side as well, get to it, get to the bolts as easily and uh, pull everything down, uh, pull everything out. Uh, so if I need to swap out the batteries, that will work out really nicely. So uh, that's where we are. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, start cleaning up some of the mess here, and then we'll start looking at how we're gonna fabricate the pieces to hold, uh, to strengthen this floor up a little bit so we don't have all that weight of the battery just on this thin aluminum, uh, have some L angles in there, and then uh, get these uh, permanently mounted uh, because then once that's done, then I can start routing wires again and uh, start playing with that mess because that needs to be cleaned up, reorganized. Um, some of the wiring needs to be uh, shrunken uh, to a lower gauge. Uh, I probably used a little bit too thick of gauge on some spots. Uh, swap out all these uh, really cheap um, switches that I have here. They're really just not that good. Um, the Hobbs meter, I'm going to link into my alternator uh, on. So when the alternator turns on, this will start counting. So that'll be my Hobbs for the engine. Uh, I also do have a backup Hobbs up here on my uh, EIS system. So at least I will still have a alternate uh, 
uh, EIS uh, or Hobbs meter here, which is actually engine driven. So uh, that'll be nice too, because when it sees RPM, I believe is how this one works, uh, then it starts counting. So that'll work too. So anyways, that's it. Uh, we're uh, pretty much getting close to being done for the day. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, keep following along as we go. Thanks guys. Bye.